90s kids everywhere were shocked and saddened when they heard about the sudden passing of former child star Aaron Carter. Since that tragic day, new details have come to light regarding the circumstances of his death. Aaron Carter died from an accidental drowning caused by compressed air and Xanax intoxication at the age of 34, according to an autopsy report released by the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner. USA Today reported that the singer and actor was found unresponsive at his home in Lancaster, California, on November 5, 2022, and was pronounced dead at the scene. Prescription pill bottles and cans of compressed air were found nearby. Carter's autopsy report indicated pulmonary edema and congestion, an often fatal buildup of fluid in the lungs. The report lists no life-threatening traumatic injuries, consistent with initial police claims that there were no signs of foul play. The former child star was tattooed all over his face and body, and each one was listed in detail in his autopsy report. His height is noted to be around 5 foot 6 inches, and he weighed 133 pounds. Among other major bodily systems, Carter's cardiovascular, gastrointestinal, respiratory, and central nervous systems appeared normal. Also found in Carter's toxicology report were antihistamines and quetiapine metabolites. Quetiapine is an antipsychotic drug often used to treat bipolar disorder. Difluoroethane, or compressed gas, is most often used for commercial and industrial purposes and has an intoxicating effect when inhaled. It's known to cause heart arrhythmia and sudden cardiac arrest. Carter had also taken alprazolam, or generic Xanax, a central nervous system depressant. His autopsy suggests he likely became incapacitated by those two substances, slipped underneath the bathwater, and drowned. In the past, Carter spoke openly about his many mental health challenges and substance use issues. In 2017, he appeared on the syndicated talk show The Doctors and tested positive for marijuana, opiates, hydrocodone, and benzodiazepines. He later said that he checked himself in for mental health treatment, according to Entertainment Tonight. TMZ also reported that Carter sought substance use treatment on and off until shortly before his death. In a 2019 The Doctor's return appearance, Carter revealed his many mental health challenges, including multiple personality disorder, schizophrenia, acute anxiety and manic depression, all treated with prescription medications. Carter reportedly missed an online rehab therapy session the night before he died, and he was found when authorities performed a welfare check after fans and friends grew concerned he'd relapsed. Also in 2019, Carter came clean about the nature of his huffing addiction, a habit he picked up from his sister Leslie, who likewise died from an overdose in 2012. According to Carter, he started doing it when he was just 16 years old. In Aaron Carter's 2019 The Doctor's interview, he claimed to buy compressed gas at stores like Staples and Office Depot using cash so the purchases couldn't be traced back to him. Carter said he huffed as a sort of self-medication, but he also admitted that the core issue was a bit simpler than that. I was huffing because, because I was really stupid and sad. In 2017, Carter said those close to him were gravely concerned for his health, but he later claimed that his well-being had improved. After Carter's autopsy results were revealed, Melanie Martin, his ex-fiancée and the mother of his son, disputed the report as noted by TMZ. According to Martin, the fact that Carter was found fully clothed in the bathtub raises some important questions. The former child star had a long career in entertainment and came from a large family. A handful of other Carters have also worked in music, film, and TV. Most notably, Nick Carter, Aaron Carter's older brother sang and performed with the best-selling boy band Backstreet Boys. The younger Carter's self-titled debut album came out in 1997, and he opened for the Backstreet Boys while on tour at the age of nine. In a heartbreaking Instagram post, Nick honored his brother's memory by writing, Sometimes we want to blame someone or something for a loss, but the truth is that addiction and mental illness is the real villain here. I will miss my brother more than anyone will ever know. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.